I'm Johnny, and it's time for Das Blinken Lights. So last week, I talked a little bit about modular synthesis. This week, I want to talk about MIDI. Now, when I say MIDI, you might be thinking really cheesy sound blaster tunes or really, really bad web music, if anything at all. But MIDI is really just a way for electronic instruments to communicate with each other. And back in the day, you would have, for instance, a MIDI keyboard. It would have been connected to a sound module through a chord that looks a little something like this. MIDI chord. By the way, if you have a lot of cables, toilet paper tubes are great, great ways to manage cables. So MIDI was developed around 1981, a long fucking time ago, by a bunch of real heavy names in the synthesizer industry at the time. So the founder of Roland, Ikutaro Kekahashi, Tom Oberheim, and Dave Smith. And it turned into this whole consortium of the synth makers of the day, and they actually got the job done. And as far as protocols go, it has its problems and it's kind of slow, but it rules. Like there's a lot of deep mojo in this protocol and it does a lot of things. MIDI truly is the language of the gods. You can do things like control lighting rigs with MIDI, control recording devices with MIDI. And there's this whole hacker maker subculture that does stuff with MIDI as well that's just completely off the wall. And it's not a particularly hard protocol to work with. Yes, you're dealing with binary and you're kind of banging bits, but it's actually really well designed. And if you start really looking into the protocol and the decisions behind it, you get some really cool and interesting design decisions that had to be made in an era when computers that we're used to carrying around in our pocket were really the size of a room. Now I'm gonna dive into a little bit of how I use some MIDI in what could be perhaps a surprising way. If you're observant about my videos, which if you are, thank you, then you'll notice that on the controller behind me, right here, Das Blinken Lights. I hooked up Ableton, the thing I use to make music, to send out MIDI messages to that controller to blink the lights on and off. And they blink on and off according to the tempo and the beat of whatever track I happen to be working on. So not only does it show me each quarter note beat, but it also shows me how far along a measure progression I am. I can set the viewport of how many measures have passed to either one measure all the way up to 32 measures. So if you have a controller that can flash dust blinking lights, this is actually really quite useful. And if nothing else is a lot of fun and you'll learn a lot about the MIDI implementation that the tool you use has. All right, so there's one more thing I wanna talk about. What happens if I happen to press the buttons? I've set up the buttons here to jump to certain maintenance tasks that I have when mixing down a track. So things like swap out the currently playing audio with a reference track, that is a track that has the same sonic qualities I'm going for, so I can do a quick A-B comparison. Also things like only play the center channel or only play what's on the side channel, only play the high end, only play the bottom end. And these are all things that kind of give you a different insight to your music. And being able to like turn this stuff on and off rapidly the press of a button, super handy. Another thing is being able to jump quickly to things like the phase scope or the spectrum analyzer, visual indicators of what's going on sonically. And again, just having that rapid access is a big deal. So I hope this gives you a few ideas in maybe helping out your own personal workflow in how you create music or even something else. For instance, if you're a writer, do you have super fast, super easy access to thesars.com or Wikipedia for research? How quickly are the tools that you use accessible? Do you have to fight and fart around or is it a press of a button that can literally be muscle memory? And if it isn't, why not? Because let me tell you, it's awesome. And until next time, blinking lights are fun.